What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Quick Review Wednesday. Today we're out on the ice and we're going to be doing a quick review of the Hummingbird Helix 7 G3N all season package. And this is our one year review. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second season on the ice with the Hummingbird Helix 7 G3N all season package. Ice fishing is the reason why I got this thing in the first place. It was recommended by our buddy from 319 Outdoors out in Wisconsin. And uh, you guys can check his website out linked down below. Now, today is the first day this year that we've gotten out on the ice with it. And uh, I must say, I'm freaking pumped to get back out. I lied, it's not the first day we went out with it. We've been out with it two days, but we just, the first day, if you guys didn't see the video, you can go check it out. It was disastrous, and so was the second day. We were in a major snowstorm. I only busted it out for like an hour. Today, we've been slamming fish all day long and um, putting this thing to work. Now, we're sitting in 4.2 foot of water, and this thing's reading the jig perfectly. In fact, the more shallow you are, the bigger your jig looks. So when you're in 20, 30 foot of water, your jig's gonna be a lot smaller on the screen. But when you're in like four foot of water, it's like, it looks enormous. It's really easy to read. Um, I tend to jig in about, normally, I mean, this pond is only five foot deep at the max, but normally I jig from about five to 10 to 12 foot. Um, I haven't really started to go after like lakers and stuff like that in deeper water, but uh, this thing has worked absolutely perfect for me. Now, what I really love about this, here on this side you have a flasher mode, which is great. Just like any Vexlar, you're gonna be able to see your jig going up and down on that side of the screen. But on this side of the screen, which the Vexlars do not have, you're gonna get your history of the jig. So you can see when you're bouncing it hard, you can see when you're just going up and down, and you can see what entices the fish. You'll be able to actually look back for a second and see what brought the fish in instead of just kind of guessing. And that is huge for me out here on the ice. I wanna know what actually brought the fish in and what you did to make the fish bite. So, one of my biggest pet peeves about this uh, hummingbird, it came with a normal lead acid battery. And that thing, I would have to charge every single time I went out ice fishing. I've had this out for three days now. The first day I used it for hours. The second day, not too long at all because we weren't even on the ice for long. And today, we've been here since, I want to say, nine in the morning. It's almost one o'clock and I'm just now at 50% battery. That's crazy to me. Um, this thing would have been dead after the first day of fishing if it was just the lead acid battery. But we have upgraded now to the lithium ion battery. This here, Life PO4, 10 amp hour, 12 volt battery. Now we're gonna be able to charge this thing less and we're gonna be able to be out full days on the ice without worrying about our battery getting too low. Because if we do charge this every time we go home, we have zero chance of running out of battery when we're out on the ice. With the lead acid battery, by the end of the trip, I'd be at zero. Um, and that's just on one trip. So I did have the chance to take this thing out on the open water this year. That's the best thing about this G3N all seasons package is that it came with this awesome ice fishing setup, but it also came with the setup to take it out on f open water. Now, I did a whole video on how to hook it up to the kayak. I must say, I did not use it often. The arm that the transducer goes on because the new canoe that I have is not set up for an actual transducer. It doesn't have a spot for it, so I had to get this yak attack arm and everything, and it works okay. Uh, the arm moves a lot when you're, you know, moving through the water, and so it kind of messes up the reed. Um, if this thing was going on a bass boat or on 
a kayak that actually had a mount for the transducer, it would be a lot more accurate. And because of the arm and how things worked, I honestly did not use it much this season at all. And I'm being brutally honest about that. Now it did work, it just wasn't exactly what I want. And I'm actually going to be looking into getting a new kayak, hopefully next year, uh, selling my old one and getting something that I can actually set this thing up correctly on. You know, something that actually has a mount for the transducer. Cause you know, this thing on that whole setup just not, wasn't my favorite wasn't my favorite at all but it's still a fantastic fish finder and works extremely well especially out here john come over here after you let him go uh i'll show you this so here's weeds four foot four foot is the bottom and then there's weeds oh I think I either just no, got, I got caught it. I on got it it's nice and soft. No, something just hit me or I got caught on weeds but I could down see there's the, the I bottom could, I can see the hard bottom underneath the yeah. soft stuff and you can see where my jig is down there now yeah all the way up all right do that one more time put your jig on the bottom you can see it go through the weeds yep see that is that's nuts dude so last winter I did a ton of videos on this thing. We will leave them all linked down below. There's a whole playlist you guys can go back and check out all the different videos that I have on the Hummingbird. Um, like I said, this thing is a freaking powerhouse. I've caught a gazillion fish with only one season on this thing on the ice. It's beautiful. It's literally all I need and want out here on the ice. Before I had this, I had the showdown, the Markham showdown, and that was great. I loved it because it was like a vertical reading, but I'm very much getting used to this, uh, you know, circular type of reading. And then to have the vertical on the other side with the history is absolutely flawless. Now, there are other settings you can go in here and change them up, but in my opinion, this is the best setup that you can have. You're also able to go in and change all the colors and all that garbage, but it's unnecessary for me. This is the color scheme that I really dig, and um, it's worked out really well for me. All right, guys, so one thing i got to say about this that I don't like, sometimes when I drop down into the water, hopefully you guys can see this, this, the range right here where it says 0 to 5 will go from like 0 to 5 to 0 to 4 or zero to six and this like will change back and forth back and forth and it happens yep it just did it again it happens because i believe the transducer is getting moved around now it's in zero to six now it's in zero to five that's probably one of the most annoying things about this fish finders it doesn't lock in if unless you have it locked in so you gotta kind of you know let it settle because we just popped it in this hole, so you gotta kinda let it settle. And then after that, it seems to work just fine once it's settled in and dialed in. So guys, we are gonna be filming with this hummingbird all year. We're gonna be doing a ton of videos with it. We're gonna be catching a ton of fish on the ice with this thing. It is literally going to be, you know, our one and only. But we do have a special surprise for you coming up shortly. And um, I'm gonna pair that up with this and see how they work together. And um, I'm gonna keep that a secret for now, but uh, within the next couple weeks, we're gonna have a new addition to our ice fishing arsenal. And it is going to seriously change the game for us. Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, we might be getting to add to our arsenal. What the hell is that? Oh. So I'm gonna get back to fishing guys. If you have any questions on the hummingbird, please let me know any questions you guys have. I'd love to hear them. And um, yeah, so if you're thinking about getting yourself a fish finder for the ice that you can also use in open water, this G3N all season package is definitely the way to go. Now you can go with the five if you want something a little bit smaller. You can even go up to the 10. I don't think they have the all season package for the 10, but you can still get an entire setup to use your 10 on the ice. It still has the ice fishing mode. You just have to buy all the extras for it. So 
this thing is great also if you do have any questions about buying one of these you can hit up our buddy greg uh, 419 outdoors link down below thanks for tuning in to another episode of quick review wednesday we'll catch you next week Fish out. Gun from the jump for the shit. All top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fog, do it with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Say, they for the ears. I know that's how they like.